one. Hey everybody, Glenn Hausman here of the No Vacancy News Network, and I'm super excited because our good friend Chris Green has recently been promoted to president and CEO of Chesapeake Hospitality. Big changes for him, big changes for the company. But first, I got to say, Chris, congratulations. What an exciting time for you and for Chesapeake. Thanks, Glenn. Yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, I mean, it's a dream come true to get to lead such a great organization. So I couldn't be more excited. Yeah, did you think when you first embarked on your career that one day, you would be in charge of a management company. I, I had no idea. You know, I, I, I remember how, it, how just uh, overwhelmingly excited I was to be in the business. My first day when I walked through the doors of the Hilton in Jacksonville, Florida, mm -hmm. um, I started there as an HR director, um, which is an interesting path to become right. this role, but um, which is really kind of uh, instructive to way I've always been as a leader with really focus on the people, but I had no idea. I mean, I just came to work every day with a passion and excitement about what we do. Uh, and right. it's, it's led to tons of opportunities, which is, I think, what's so amazing about this business. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe that you weren't um, thinking about this when you were swinging on the monkey bars in kindergarten that one day you would have the shop. I mean, I thought I'd put up little videos on the internet when I was six years old. Yeah, I'm so, sure. Like, yeah. I remember <laughs> I just what? wanted to be, I wanted to be like my hero, which is my dad. I mean, I wanted to be, he served in our military and right. was just a great father. And I just wanted to be like him, just that kind of that kind of person that just always put their best effort forward every day. So I mean, I got everything I have from him and my family and, and just kind of the leadership he showed me. So, but it just turned into hospitality, you know? Yeah. So what is it, what is it like for you getting, you know, when you were getting prepared and now in these, this initial time frame of you first starting out as president and CEO, because before someone was always above you, but now the buck is going to stop with you. How does it change the way you perceive your your responsibility your career and everything that's been leading up to right now that's a great question I, you know i've always had a keen sense of of a of responsibility towards our team you know because they're who make us who we are you know with chesapeake's commitment to culture and making right. sure that our team members are um, really engaged in what we do we've always had this keen sense and me especially just really attached to how they feel but what I would say is change is the gravity of it all, right? I mean, it literally yeah. one day it's, it's, hey, we've got, you know, you're, you're part of the team leading and then, and then all of a sudden the team's looking to you for leadership. Um, so I'm comfortable in the role, but I, I think it comes with a great amount of gravity and respect that you have to have that you're holding 3,300 people's um, success in your hands and you've got to be super thoughtful about what you're doing decision-wise and where you're going. Right. And uh, to take that a step further, not to freak you out too much, but up until now, the family's been running this company and now they're trusting their lives work and generations of work uh, to you. So that's a pretty big responsibility. It is. It is. And it's an honor, right? I mean, this mm -hmm. is the first time that uh, the company's ever been run by a non-family non member in 62 years history. And it's, wow. a it's a huge honor. And honestly, the, the trust that they've placed in me to carry this enterprise forward I, I really can't put into words how much that means to me. And, and of course, I, you know, it puts a lot, I want to succeed. I love those people and I love what they've done and they've built this great company. Kim has been an amazing leader and a mentor. So to follow up on that, I mean, that sets a really high bar. Right. And he, of course, talking about uh, Kim Sims, who uh, you are, I, I don't want to say replacing. I want to no. say that you are ascending to his, the, the role that he uh, has, has wanted to uh, pass on to you. So correct. What do you think now, moving forward, how do you start to honor the past, but begin to start to make it your own and keep, short, make, keep making sure that the company continues to grow in the trajectory that you have all decided upon in 2020 and beyond? Sure. I think one of the differences between Kim and I is pace. Really, I'm a pretty aggressively paced guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were just talking before we hit the record button that you would not believe how many places he was at this week alone. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but I think what you're going to see is an acceleration of the pace as we move forward. Right. Not necessarily the growth, but in how we accelerate the, the uh, offering that Chesapeake has, our platform, our use of technology to leverage and improve the performance um, to make sure our team has what they need to continue driving great performance in the field. We're right. already working on what we call Project 2020. We've been working on it for about nine months. Make sure that our platform <clears throat> really not only meets, but exceeds what owners expect and what the marketplace expects. And so we can continue being at the front, even, you know, even though, and you know this, Glenn, even though we're 
a mid-sized manager, we think and act like one of the top five, right. and we deliver uh, those kind of results. So, and that's our goal is to be just the very best. Right. And not to, uh, you know, not to kiss too much, uh, you know, you know what here, but yeah, you, you may act like a big company, but you also act like a, a small company. From what I've gotten to know from you folks, you have a very, very hands-on, dedicated approach, and your growth has been done in such ways that you're able to uh, keep that going. So I really expect a lot more of that from you in the future. Yeah, the connection between us and our owners is key, all right? We want, we, we do, we do business with a, uh, a lot of great clients, and they really like the access they have to the key principles mm -hmm. and decision makers. But not only that, they like that the fact that when they talk to Chris Green and then they talk to one of the VPs in the field, the message is the same because we're so closely knit and so committed to kind of our structure and the way we are building our company. So you, you won't see, it's not going to be, oh, Chris Green's in charge, massive changes. No, we're going to keep the path forward because we've had right. great success. We're just going to, um, you know, continue to underpin that success with great systems and, and attract and retain great people. And, and then grow thoughtfully. You know, we'll, we'll grow only as fast as we can continue to do it the Chesapeake way. And that's really uh, where the real challenge comes in because to avoid that temptation of getting quicker, growing quicker, faster, has got to be real, real tough, especially, um, you know, if you want to con continue to expand the company. So it's a tough balance there you got to find. It is, it is. And listen, the excitement of new deals. I mean, as we've grown right. and we've been out of the broader marketplace, a lot of deals come across the table, but it's doing the right ones for us. Mm -hmm. And also realizing that, you know, Chesapeake's in a good place as a company. We don't, we don't have to add one more hotel and we won't unless we can do it our way. We want to make right. sure I met with an owner this week and I told him in the meeting about taking on his asset that right. after our review, if I didn't think we could help him, even though he's going to hire another manager, I won't do it. Because right. I, I can't uh, be of integrity and do that. I can't just take a deal to get a fee. I want to be able to be accretive to them. And I want them to just be, you know, amazed at what we do. I had an owner meeting up this week earlier and it was amazing because we, we said we were going to do something for this owner and we've delivered and our team, they couldn't be more thankful. They love our team. They appreciate what we're doing and we will have a long relationship with them. So that's, that's how we're building our business. Great. And that, I think, is the attitude that got you to the position you're in today. Congratulations once again on becoming president and CEO of Chesapeake Hospitality. Chris, how can people find you? Uh, you can find us at ChesapeakeHospitality.com or look me up on LinkedIn or wherever. I'd love to connect with you. Great. And be sure to uh, subscribe to uh, No Vacancy, all of our videos and podcasts. Follow us online. Follow us on Apple, iTunes, Google Play, wherever you get your shows. So subscribe to our newsletter by texting the word hotel to 66866. So for Chris Green and myself, Glenn Hausman, thanks for watching this special episode of the No Vacancy News Video Podcast Edition.